let's get our hands dirty we'll consider this scenario and i will try to recreate this end to end flow in a brand new salesforce org and by the way this is a salesforce cpq org so let's get started first step is going to be creating an account record let me click on new let me fill this form up account name is going to be salesforce rating may be hot website is www.salesforce.com type is customer direct industry is technology i'm not interested in rest of the other fields however when it comes to address information i want to provide the billing address and shipping address city is going to be dallas state is going to be texas postal code is 57201 country is usa let me try to provide the billing address as shipping address as well let me go ahead and click on save so the account record is created and step 2 as a part of this end to end flow is going to be creating a new opportunity record for that i'm going to take the help of the related list quick links i'm going to work with opportunities you can either click on it or when you on hover you'll see this pop up menu here you can take the help of the new button let me create a new opportunity record opportunity name is 500 gpus 100 ssd drives and cloud storage close date i'm going to pick this as end of next month stage is prospecting type existing customer upgrade lead source you can pick any after that i'm going to go easy on the rest of the other fields click on save okay there you go the opportunity record is created and if you see this opportunity becomes one so let me go back to the record I'll move on to the next step, which is going to be creating a new quote record. I'm going to click on new. Let me pick the opportunity. This here is the opportunity. By the way, this has to be GPU, and this is account. As of now, the default status is draft. Let me just leave it like that. and you'll have a checkbox here which says is the code a primary code for every opportunity you can only have one primary code and you can have multiple other codes so if you want to mark this as the primary code you need to check this checkbox and also you can take the help of the help text here and the help text says select this checkbox to designate this code as the primary one on the opportunity and sync code line items with opportunity line items followed by that i am not interested in rest of the other fields i am going to go easy on them i'll click on save so a master quote is created now i need to add products from the entire catalog there you go quote record is created to add the products from the entire catalog i am going to take the help of this button which says edit lines click on it now whatever you see in the next screen is called quote line editor trust me i'm not exaggerating almost 1 by 4th of your entire time on cpq will be spent on this particular screen this is a pretty important screen here you need to pick a price book for time being let's not worry about what is price book what is price book entry 
let's go with the flow pick the only available price book which is going to be standard price book as mentioned earlier this here is called quote line editor very important you'll be spending at least one by fourth of your time on this particular screen and then i'm going to click on add products this is going to show me the entire catalog that dell has got out of this catalog i'll only pick the products that the end customer is interested in i'm going to search for cloud storage click this click on select out of the entire catalog i have picked one product which is cloud storage i can also go ahead and add other products but there's a reason behind me not doing it i'll tell you why i've only selected one product which is called cloud storage and then if you notice it i have list unit price i can add additional discount hence i was saying that we will create a quote to add products assign some pricing to it and apply some discounts on top of them let me click on save if you want to add more products you can again click on this button which is edit lines it is going to take you back to the quote line editor screen or qle screen when i click on related you'll find quote lines related list and this is the product that we have added the product that we have added becomes the quote line on the master quote which is this as mentioned earlier if you want to go back add more products feel free to click on this button it is going to take you back to the qle screen or quote line editor screen i'll be using the term qle a lot rather than explicitly mentioning quote line editor i think you get the point let me cancel this let me go back to the quote which is going to be the master quote okay and once the quote is created i need to go ahead and i need to create the order record from the quote record and how do i do it i need to change the status first change the status to approved you'll not be doing it manually in a real time project you'll be taking the help of approval process you'll submit the record for approval and your manager or the concerned person is going to approve it subsequently the field gets modified to status as approved but here to put it simple i'm going to change it manually and followed by that there is a checkbox which is ordered we need to check that as well we'll do it in two steps let me save it i'm marking the quote as approved followed by that i'll check this as order you have some help text here select this checkbox to automatically create an order from this quote if it is a primary quote click on save let me scroll to the top if you notice it i have orders as one so the order record is created let me go back to the order record let me click on the order and you'll see the related list which is order products or order line items and you'll also notice the product that we have added onto the quote here you'll find it as order line item on the quote you will find quote line item which is this or this will be cloned this will be added as the line item to the master order record and this is the order line item and followed by that i need to activate the order as of now the status is draft i need to activate it i can do it by clicking on activate it you can see the status is modified to activated now likewise you'll have another checkbox which is contracted and the help text says this field indicates if the order is contracted let me click on this let me check the checkbox and by the way if you notice it the address that we have added on the account is shown on the order record why is that because from the order record we will be generating invoices and it's a pretty common practice to have the address shown on the invoice records so click the checkbox which is contracted click on the save button now we are contracting the order if you go back to related you'll find a contract record here click on the contract record here is the contract record a contract is going to have start date end date the contract term what is the renewal term so on and so forth when i click on related 
you'll find subscription record. So from the order line item, a record is cloned and that becomes a subscription record. The parent of this record is going to be the contract record. If you take a step back, as I had mentioned earlier in the flow, quote record will be created. Quote is going to have quote line items. Once the quote is activated, order record will be created. And from the quote line items, order line items will be generated. And once the order is contracted, a contract record will be created. And from the order line items, subscriptions will be created. Now, this is the end to end flow that I had mentioned earlier. That's all for this episode. See you in the next one.